There's a lot of people getting into painting and I'm glad that I can help each and every one of them. But it's time for me to kick it up a notch a little bit. In this video, I'm gonna give you the best five tips in five minutes for any brand new painter out there starting their hobby or jumping into their arts career. These are fantastic, so here we go. What is up all you awesome creative people out there? Wild here, helping you be bigger, better, great hair, painting tutorials, all that fun stuff. I'm on a time limit, so here we go. If you're a brand new painter out there, probably one of the biggest mistakes you're gonna make is not using enough paint, because guess what? Paint's expensive, and the first thing we think about is we're wasting money and we're wasting paint. However, if you don't use enough paint, you're not gonna get the correct texture or consistency or viscosity you need for your painting. And sometimes your painting is gonna look drab, dull, and not rich because there's not enough pigment or not enough paint on your canvas. So don't worry about it. Start using a lot more paint. You need to realize this is painting, this hobby and this profession costs a lot of money. You need to know that up front. So get over it and start using a lot more paint. And of course, I don't mean just waste paint frivolously. Be smart with it, but make sure you're using the correct amounts is all about this tip right here. If you're jumping into painting, you should also jump into using new mediums that are gonna make everything easier for you and also make painting more fun. If you can find it, I really recommend getting the Bob Ross assortment value pack here. That's gonna have your liquid white, liquid clear, liquid black, and even the soap cleaner. But there's a bunch of different ones out there that you can try. Perhaps my favorite one that I would recommend is using liquid, which is gonna help you give you a faster and better flow for your paints, but also increase the dry time so that way you can create bigger and better layers. But try a bunch of different mediums to help your process with painting. Tip number three is all about wearing old clothes or invest in an apron. When you start painting, you're gonna be a little passionate and a little vigorous, which means paint's gonna go kind of everywhere, which means you're gonna ruin some of your clothes. And I've ruined a lot of tops and a lot of pants, which really sucks because they weren't cheap. So either start wearing nothing but old clothes, tops, bottoms, and shoes, or invest in an apron to protect your body and to protect your clothes. Likewise, if you have long hair out there, kind of like me during this quarantine, I would invest in a hairband so that way it can keep your hair back because when you go over your palette or you go over your canvas to get really close, sometimes your hair will fall into your paint, ruining your hair. We gotta protect the hair. I mean, it's, it's like my best asset. In fact, it's, it's my only asset. Probably mostly the only reason a lot of you tune in. Are quarantine man bun slash ponytails a thing? I don't know. I think I'm turning them into a thing. Art life. Tip number four is stop rushing yourself. You're not Bob Ross, nor are you Bill Alexander. You won't finish paintings in 30 minutes. Heck, you won't finish them in an hour. Take your time, stop trying to rush through it. When you slow down, take time to appreciate what you're doing, you're gonna absorb a lot more of what you're working on, how you're failing at something, how you can learn from that failure, and apply it to every piece of your painting in future paintings. That way you'll learn the building blocks and learn the basics. Literally, I see way too many painters rush through paintings in 30 minutes to an hour just because they watched a tutorial. Hit pause and take as much time as you want. Trust me, that's an awesome tip. I actually like my ponytail. I think I could rock a ponytail. Can I rock a ponytail? I'm also showing a lot of chest. It's all right, good clickbait. Tip number five goes along with tip number four, and you need to start simple. Too many people dive into these really advanced paintings because you see these beautiful pictures on a YouTube thumbnail or a follow along tutorial, and you know what? It's gonna be hard. Those people have been painting for 10 to 20 years. You've been painting for 10 to 20 minutes. So your painting's gonna suck. I'm sorry, your first 100 paintings are going to suck. They're learning processes, which is why I always recommend start super simple and build up, which is why I'm going to always recommend my building block and tutorial videos. They're super easy to follow along with and you're gonna understand what you're doing, which is why I'm gonna put those videos over here to the side and I really recommend you check them out. Now I have no idea if I hit the timeline of under five minutes, I'll find out when I edit this in Adobe Premiere, but if I don't see it and I hit the five minutes, awesome for me, but until then, Take care, keep those brushes wet, and I will see all of you beautiful people later. Take care, and of course, peace.